So this morning, uh, while feeding Jack his, his breakfast, um, he started going to a seizure just as soon as, uh, as I was done. Um, and he ended up uh, vomiting everything right then and there in bed um, as soon as the seizure was done. He still needs to take his meds. Um, so now we're gonna have to pump feed him all day because the gravity feed is too fast. The gravity feed is when I hold the tube and just let let his uh, formula uh, go into his stomach at you know the speed of gravity. Um, but the pump is slower, so that way it doesn't feed him as quickly and therefore not upsetting his stomach as fast. Um, if it upsets his stomach again at all. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to give him any formula, no dairy, until I know he's okay or better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his, his, his medicine and mix it with a little more water than I normally do and put some Pedialyte uh, into his pump bag. And we normally keep a bottle of Pedialyte on hand just in case something like this happens, uh, which here we are. So I'll get that out. I'll mix that together. I'll put the pump on. I'll make sure he's sitting upright. He needs to be sitting upright because, you know, laying down and, and being fed doesn't uh, do anybody any good. All right, well, it seems he's okay for now. Um, he's falling asleep. Um, I'll just let him sit here for a good half hour or so before I actually put him back in bed because uh, I don't want, I don't want him to vomit again. Um, and just let it settle into his stomach. That is the most annoying, horrific sound ever. No kidding. And we'll just put the tube, we'll just put it in there because we're gonna be using this all day. So today. he's back in bed for now. Uh, we're gonna just leave him until it's time for lunch. I'll still give him some formula, but I'll mix it with some with some water. So it'll be about half and half. Um, give him about the, I don't know, the 200 mils or whatever and, and run the pump uh, at about a 220 pace. So it'll be just at an hour that he'll get that much fluid. And I think that'll be slow enough to keep him from getting sick again. Do any of you with the, uh, Children like Jack with disabilities, um, do you have issues like this where just randomly, you know, see, now this is the thing. This is one of those random things that, you know, you can't plan for. You can't plan for him to just wake up and, bleh, you know, you know it could happen. But the most planning you can do is just to have the right materials, the right resources uh, ready to go if that does happen. You know, this is just what comes with the territory. Uh, this is, here we are. New Year's Eve, baby. Well, it's past time for him to have his lunch feeding. Um, but, as you can see, he's still asleep. I'll just let him sleep uh, for now. Um, if it gets to be at 12.45, 1 o'clock, then yeah, I'll get him up. Um, because if I was going to give him a gravity feed, I could just keep him in bed and just do it there. But uh, it's going to be a pump feed. I'd said no dairy at all. But I think if it's, if it's mixed, you know, with that... Uh, it's mixed together. It, it should be fine. Um, I hope. We'll find out. Uh, for any s parents of special needs uh, disabled children, I mean, do you have situations like this where you have a, a, a normal pattern? You know, I'm asking that like you don't. Um, do you have a normal pattern of uh, feeding pattern or anything like that that gets disrupted and you have to completely change how you do it just because of one little thing? And he's, I don't think he's sick. He doesn't have a fever, you know? Um, he's, he's not even coughing or anything. Uh, I mean, he's asleep. But, you know, I think it's just the seizure, having eaten and having a seizure almost right away. And I couldn't cut off his feeding because he was just done. I, I just finished feeding him when he had it. So, oh. 
Well, well, well. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he woke up since I'm in here blithering and blathering in your room, huh, man? Hey, buddy. Let's go eat. We just got him up to feed and he's having one right now. So it's probably best that he has it now instead of later yeah. or after. You don't want him to vomit again. Got the guard cat. Um, I don't know, staring at the baseboard. Good job, cat. So we've got a mixture now of uh, Pedialyte and formula. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't believe it's gonna make him vomit, but we're just gonna take a moment here and just keep an eye on him. I imagine he's gonna be good for the rest of the day. I'll just continue to uh, mix his, his stuff, you know? A little half and half and hopefully he'll be good, but he doesn't seem to be reacting. Uh, well, unless you consider this a reaction. Um, so, there it is, short and sweet. Uh, but these things do happen. And again, I'm um, just really curious to know if, uh, if, if you guys with, with you know, uh, children, and not, not even children, just anybody in your family with uh, disabilities or special needs, how often you have something unexpected. And I imagine it's pretty often. So, that being said, you know, if you didn't know before, now you know.